Hey, what's going on, guys? Lord of Guy here, and I wanted to touch base a little bit on, you know, the weekly common reading. Haven't done one in a while. Oh, tried to let out a burp, but nothing came out. It depends on... Oh, so this comment is in response to one of my questions regarding... Like, I'm, I'm super, super duper close. That's how you know it's serious when I add the duper to it. I'm super close to... Also, subscribe to this guy. To monetization. But the thing is, the public watch hours keep going down. And I think that's due to because, like, me not streaming as much. So I, like, asked, like... I ask this because, like, if there is a way for me to get you guys engaged, then I'm all for it. Um, let's see. Make more video. Obvi yeah, obviously, you know, it just boils down to making more videos, which I think basically before I was posting like 10 minute videos every single day. I think I need to get back to that pace. Um, giveaways. Yeah, I'm down to do a giveaway. I haven't done one in a bit. And plus, nobody joined the last one. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to dig deep because, like, there, there's a giveaway that I did. That I, I genuinely think it's... It, I think it's probably just because I, I just fucking fucked up. It probably is because of that. Cool concept. Um, In regards to the whistle spamming, it's not a concept, though. Like, that, that's, like, an actual thing. I will say this. If there was ever, like... If DBO ever had, like, an arena, you know how there's, like, background fighters? Saiyan's whistling would be the most annoyingest thing to Namekians. Thanks, you. No problem. I put, like, 10 exclamation points there. I'm actually thinking about posting... I had this really, really long-ass video that I had before. I'm also thinking about changing the uh, profile picture. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I think this profile picture is iconic, but... What do you guys think? Try RDP for your watch time. I was actually looking at this. So RDP, I, I'm pretty sure the actual term is remote desktop protocol. So what happens is you essentially remote into somebody's computer and then you watch your own content from there and you like basically make a playlist of like all of your content and it'll supposedly get you X amount of watch hours. First off, I'm not going to do that. that that's actual... That that's just a that's a short term solution to a long term problem. Because thing is, there's other hurdles to cross, like making sure that you are in the running for monetization. Like it's it's a lot. So you know, people were actually interested in the mod itself. This was this was a while back. It's called like Mystic Dragon Textures, where uh, oh yeah, it was a guy named uh, Tadrik. He figured out how to access the game's data so that he could, like, actually manipulate it in a way that, you know, you could change the textures of the game. It got shot down due to huge reasons. But the thing is, like, I'm still on board with textures. Because there's, there's a difference between mods and textures. Mods actually, like, mess up the game. And it alters the game in a way. But textures... It's all client side, meaning that it's only it only affects what you can see realistically. Random, I know, but it's so f freaking odd to me that in game that in game foes like Cuckoo, for ex for instance, have like five or six blasts. Yes, that's what I'm saying, bro. Dude, if you've ever seen level six, bl oh, actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let me show you, bro. See, look at that. This is level 6 blast, and I don't plan on changing this blast at all. I don't plan on upgrading it. Even if it means my attack is going to be weak as hell, it's going to be 30% weaker. Like, I love this animation so much that I'm not going to change this shit. It's going to be the same thing for if I ever make a, another Namekian that has, like, a lower, like, has, like, a weaker Masenko. It's going to be the same for another Saiyan that's going to have, like, a level 5 blast. Like, I am in, I'm so in love with the old animations. Like, look at this shit. This shit's so fucking detailed. There's a whole fucking aura going around this guy. And nobody talks about it. For my money, though, honestly, Pan is such a fun disguise. Not that it does anything. It doesn't do anything at all besides maybe, like, reduce damage. But that's, dude, Pan is fun. What the flip happened to abused cat? He died. Yeah, that's about it. No response needed for me. Never notice how cool. Yes, Yakon. Yakon. 
is the most detailed mask. Most detail. I think the only thing that can beat Yakon is straight up like cell, imperfect cell, and but imperfect cells literally just dots everywhere. Yakon actually has like really cool shit. You know, actually, um, this actually spawned an idea for me. I was gonna rate a lot of disguises, and that's coming up uh, in about a week. But very true, because before there was only like one or two masks that would make people chat. And shit like that. So it was like, okay, you know, just steer clear of those people. Or those people would have enough self-awareness to be like, oh, I'm talking to somebody. Maybe I should take off my costume. But now since everyone and their mother has a mask that alters text, like there's no point in actually messaging in-game. Because it's just so awkward. I opened 50 and got nothing to bro. It's... Dude, I think BeastDBO opened, I think, 200. No, no, no. Not I think. I, I, I watched the stream. He opened 99 on stream. Got zilch. It was so bad that I, I was literally asking him. I was like, hey, when are you going to start opening the the, the snowman? He's like, he's like, dude, I've been doing this the entire stream. Have you not been watching? I'm like, it like the rewards were so bad that I literally thought he wasn't even opening anything, bro. So, unfortunately, yeah, you know what? I think they should go more on the account bound approach where it's like good gear at your level could be account bound, but like the rare gears are the ones that are tradable. You know what I'm saying? I genuinely think that there should be more gear drops that are in the same level as a player because it doesn't make sense for players to literally only have to worry about grinding there used to be a time in this game where like it may be like a, a solid week's worth of training you would actually get a decent drop the word decent has changed very much <laughs> in the past like decade that this game has been around i'm 12 bill can you hook me up with gears unfortunately no much as i stare with my accounts with uh, a, a sizable amount uh thanks to sir sharp the suggestion to respond to how profitable it is you make more than what you put in for capsules and that's been pretty much the status quo for the past 10 years it's been there teleport is very much underrated especially with gear oh, bro dude teleport is pretty teleport is rated it's not underrated there, there's straight up no question about it teleport oh, i put teleported uh, teleport is the best skill in the game there's i genuinely don't think there's any question about that i think hmm i don't know i don't know i i think i think the first skill that comes to mind that's like the best is teleport i had no idea you could use mafuba on dummies maybe ty uh I had no idea you could use Mofuba dummies. You can. And you can, you can. Sado the first rage. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Namek's most defensive. No. No. Uh-uh. All right, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to reply to them verbally. I'm going to say Namekians are the most offensive. It's just that they don't have any defensive skills to work with, so they get... They get they get clowned on by every race. Uh, Earths are I think Earths Earths are the definition of a strong defense is a good offense where it's like you can't really touch Earths that well because their defensive skills will light you up until they can use their blasts and punches. But I wouldn't say they're the strongest offensive just because like on paper they have the slowest skills in punches and oh actually no Kaioken's really fast. But Kaioken's late game anyways. Saiyans definitely are a master of your both, though. Saiyan race is the best race. Uh, oh, no, what happened? Saiyan race is the best race in the... Yeah. I, for some reason, I don't get... I don't get how the Vietnamese meta is. But they always seem to nerf Saiyans for whatever reason. And they, like... I don't get why Earth never 
I don't know why Earths always go untouched. You know what? This comment brings a huge good point. Also, I'm not going to respond to comments anymore because like this glitch keeps happening where like if I click anywhere, it just pushes me up to the top. Um, but the Saiyan race would appear more the red layer. I guess that's yeah, that's that's your yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, your suggestion, but I, I'm, I think they can do that in the anime. I have no idea. Um, the Saiyan race is missing something. What really piqued my attention is the Saiyan race is missing something. And I definitely know why. It's literally an actual Super Saiyan transformation, which I think my computer's just glitched. And it looks like, I, yeah, I glitched out. You guys not might understand it, but you're partially a big reason. Ah, yo, that I appreciate that a lot, bro. Long video. Yes, sir. Like, I'm about to pick up 100 million gold. All right, yeah, that's about it. See ya.